Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Two times, thank you. How do all? And welcome back to Immersion Gaming and part 10 of Beyond Two Souls. The final part. We're finally here. Um, Again, I don't know what you thought of the last uh, intro video on part nine, but again, that like I told you in that way, that was done on my phone. This one's also been done on my phone, but this time I'm using my little lapel mic that I didn't get a chance to use before because it wouldn't work with the GoPro Hero 7. Funny enough, you know something else that the GoPro Hero 7 can't do, right? Because apparently you're not allowed to use external mics on the GoPro Hero 7. I bought this mic, a lapel mic, a decent lapel mic as well, so that I could plug this mic in to the uh, GoPro Hero 7, but it still won't work. And then when I looked it up, it's because you have to buy GoPro's own proprietary um, splitter, basically, which costs something like 60 quid or something like that, so that you can use an external mic. No, you're all right, thank you, I won't bother. So yeah, I haven't been able to use this basically since I bought it, um, but now that I'm doing it on my phone, because Samsung seemed to get things right, I'm now able to do 4K 60 frames per second, like I told you last time, and I'm also use, able to use my lapel mic. So hopefully the sound quality might be a bit better as well. Um, so yeah, anyway, gripe about GoPro over. Um, we're on part 10 now, which is like I told you last time, is the final part of uh, Beyond Two Souls. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I don't know what your opinions are of the game, but I absolutely love this game. It's fantastic. The story behind this game is absolutely brilliant. And I think, in my opinion, it should be made into a film. It really should. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, and also, like I said to you as well in the game, uh, to say it's a 10-year-old game, the graphics still stand up today, I believe, compared to, I mean, to even some games that are still coming out now. I think these graphics still... Obviously, there's certain parts of it, like there's no ray tracing support and stuff like that. But yeah, I think for a 10-year-old game, the graphics look awesome still. It just shows you, I mean, when this game came out 10 years ago, these graphics were mind-blowing. They really were. I remember playing it 10 years ago when it came out, and they were blown away, absolutely blown away by it. But that's something that Quantic Dream and Sony Entertainment, when they collaborate on games, always do really well. I mean, you've only to look at Beyond, uh, Detroit Become Human. Um, which is a more modern game, which only came out, what, a year or two ago? Uh, and the graphics on that are mind-blowing. Um, because they do, they're, they're always ahead of the time, which again, future-proofs them. This one's 10 years old and it's still playable. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the game. Um, so yeah, in part nine, Jody met up with Cole, didn't she? Um, who hadn't seen her for since she went and joined the CIA, basically, I don't think, um, when she was still in her teens, I think she was, something like that. Um, so we were really glad to see her, but we ended up getting cornered, basically, didn't we, by the CIA and gun-butted in face, which were very unnecessary, if you ask me, but that's what happened. Um, so, then we, oh, the, sorry, before that happened, we went to find Jodie's mum. She found out, basically, that she was taken from her mum at birth and her mum were told that she'd had a miscarriage or, that, that, oh no, stillborn, that Jodie was stillborn, basically, um, and she was taken from her. And then her mum were put into a mental asylum, which Jodie found out about off Cole, and now, and then Cole, decided that he wanted to go with Jodie to go and find her mum, basically, which you would, I'd want to go and find my mum as well if, you, if I found that out. Um, so yeah, that's what we did. We went and found Jodie's mum. Um, and a bit sad, really. Her mum's basically been put into a sort of coma state by these frigging CIA agents, basically so that she can't tell anybody that a kid got took and things like that. So yeah, proper skullduggery there, you know what I mean? Proper. Um, so she's basically a cabbage with a mum and just stuck in her own body, um, never gonna be able to come out of it. So Aidan were able to stop her mum's heart 
and kill, kill her peacefully. And you, she smiled as she died, um, which obviously Jodie wasn't happy about, but it, it were some consolation that a man died happy and is no longer suffering and stuck in her own body, basically. Um, so yeah, then that's when the CIA came in and gun butted her with, with Hill at gun. Um, and then took her back to CIA headquarters, back to Nathan. Um, so then we found out at that point that the Chinese now have opened up a rift to Aiden's world and the CIA have said that they don't want basically to happen to what happened when they when they opened the rift up with the Americans and all the spirits came out and killed all scientists and stuff like that. So they don't want the Chinese basically ending the world is what they're saying. But I don't, didn't believe that whatsoever. I believe more so it's about the Americans not wanting Chinese to have that sort of technology or being able to use it or weaponize it or whatever. So yeah, that's where we left it basically. We'd just gone on that mission for them um, and found out that the, uh, the the base, the Chinese base where they've opened this rift is underwater, um, under ice basically. So yeah, that's where we left it. We just got to the uh, submarine to go down to this base um, and that's where I ended the game. So yeah, um, that's where we're picking it up in part 10. As I've told you, this is the last one now. Uh, it's a bit longer than the other parts because I didn't want to do a part 11 and I didn't see the point of just having a, a short part 11. So I crammed it all into part 10, so it's longer than the other parts. Um, also, there's a little bonus bit at the end of the video as well. It were, you know, you know when I was collecting the bonuses throughout the game, there's a bonus clip of a game that was proposed again by Quantic Dream and Sony entertainment so it's like a it's like a, a trailer for a proposed game i don't think it ever actually came out i haven't even checked yet whether it's uh, whether it did or not but i don't think it ever did it did look good though the trailer of it so that's also a little bonus clip at the end of the uh, part 10 basically so yeah i mean if you want to stick on and watch past the the credits at the end you'll find that there that trailer for that proposed game as well so yeah um, I think I've yapped on enough uh, I think we'll crack on with the game and conclude Beyond Two Souls so as always people if you want to support us here at Immersion Gaming and you want to become part of the Immersion Gaming community it's easy to do completely free and it will only allow this channel to grow and allow me to do uh, a, a whole variety of better footage for this channel um, I've already told you in previous videos some of the plans I've got going ahead but it's just going to allow me to do much more with the channel basically and it's all going to be better viewing experience for you guys um, so yeah as always the three ways to do that is if you can like the videos with the thumbs up button underneath uh, and also put any comments on any feedback any ideas or even just general discussion about the game itself I'll read through any comments that you put on and I'll get back to you on them. Um, those two things, the liking and the comments, as I've told you before, all they do is help the YouTube algorithm push my video out to more people. Um, and the best way to help this channel grow, as always, is to click the subscribe button, which is completely free. All it does is put my channel into your favourites on YouTube. Um, and also, if you want notifications on, which is the bell icon next to subscribe, that just puts a little notification number at the top of YouTube on the bell icon when I upload a new video. So basically just letting you upload, letting you know I've uploaded a new video. Um, again, that's personal preference whether you want notifications on or not. It's separate from the subscribing. It's really the subscribing that we need to help this channel grow. And like I said, I com it's completely free and I would really appreciate if you can do that for us because again, all it's going to do is allow me to do much better things with this channel and it's all going to be uh, free for you to watch so yeah that's how you can do it if you want to support us and help us and become part of the immersion gaming community um but other than that people yeah thanks again for joining me i think now we'll just crack on and conclude part 10 of beyond two souls so take care of your sense peeps and i'll speak to you all very soon bye
How do all, and welcome back to part 10 of Beyond Two Souls, the final concluding part, finally, at last, oh god I can't believe it, we're here on the final part, you know because I'm so uh, excited to play this next game that I'm going to be putting on because I've waited years to play it, I really haven't, it's one that I have waited in anticipation for so long to play because it, it is an absolutely awesome game based on what I've seen and based on what people have told me that have played it I can't wait honestly um, obviously I'm going to explain to you a little bit more as to why I haven't been at a play for years uh, when we get to part one of it so yeah um, where we left it off in part nine um, Jodie and a best friend aka Dickweed, um, Ryan, had just found the base, well, and the other guys that they've got, but, like, Laurel and Hardy didn't really do much apart from help Aiden get a fire going, um, but yeah, they found the base that they were looking for, the Chinese base, where they've opened another rift to Aiden's world, um, and it's underwater, under ice, basically, underwater, so, we then found a little hangar, because Jay, uh, Jody were having a piss and Arnie went past it in like them uh, snow snowmobiles or whatever they were um, and then we followed the tracks and it, we got to a hangar where there were a few Chinese soldiers and two submarines oh, I think there were three submarines but one of them went down and then the other one went down and just left one um, for us so that was a bit of a coincidence wasn't it but yeah anyway so we've got a submarine to go down under the water under the ice to the underground base Sorry, the underwater base where the Chinese rift is that we need to go and blow up for the CIA, who are then going to let Jody go free. <laughs> oh, of course they are, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, what more is it to say? That's where we're picking it up from. I just got to the underground base, we'd got in the sub, we'd gone down, um, and we'd just surfaced into the underground base, and that's where I left it. So, yeah. Let's crack on without further ado with Beyond Two Souls, the concluding part 10. Here we go. Now what? We find the condenser, destroy it, and get out. And any idea how you plan to do that? No. But I'll figure something out. the condenser before they realize something's up. Thank you. 
door over there. That must be the way. The condenser's close. I'm feeling echoes coming from the rift. This is too easy. I don't like it. Jody! Jody, what's happening? It's it. Get on. One button. Let them leave. We need to ask them. need you. Where are you, Aiden?
Ryan. Ryan? Ryan, are you there? Blast. Quick! For me. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, just go without me. Are you crazy? Jordan, we've done it. The base is destroyed. Let's get out of here while we still can. The rift is wide open. Entities are just gonna come pouring out if we don't close it. It's too late, Jordan. We gotta go now. It's the only way. We know that. The explosives. I need the explosives in the interrogation room.
scared, Aiden. Stay close, okay? on this thing. Keep calm, Aiden. to die here with me. The greatest discovery the world has ever known. Destroyed because of you stupid American bitch! You pay for what you've done! 
Come back to me, huh? Come back. Oh, fuck. Oh. Come on, Joey. Don't die, huh? Don't die. Don't die. Good night, Princess. Is Nathan okay? When will I see him again? Oh. I don't know, honey. He hasn't left his office in three days. He loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. But we can try again tomorrow, okay? Get some sleep.
Oh, the... What are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jody. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We are here, Nathan. We're right by your side. Helen. Laura. We love you, darling. We'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again. I can't. They've gone. Please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I miss them so much. The active condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the Infoworld. This situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. Now we're gonna launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. This is the beginning of a new era for our nation. Pentagon top brass getting you down? They were busy talking about their plans to take over the world. So I left them to it. We played our part in all of this. They told us we were doing the right thing. But all we did was 
allow the Pentagon alone to control the infra-world. So what are you gonna do now? Go as far away from here as possible. Try and forget about what a mess my life has been so far. <sighs> and what about you? CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. But I haven't given him an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen. Jody, I, I know it's been complicated between us. And I, I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. You lied to me. I could never trust you again. I'm sorry, Ryan. I understand. Whatever you do, just remember I'll always be there for you. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? No, I, I don't think I can. Come on. Don't make me drink it alone. Waste of a good bottle? I'll tell you what, I'll find you, okay? <laughs> this way, Jody. Some decisions are hard to make, huh, Jody? I'd rather not talk about it. I get it. None of my business. Thanks for worrying about me, Cole. The Black Sun, the most powerful condenser ever built. We let the infoworld expand around it, it, makes it easier to study. Has anyone been in there? I don't think anyone could survive it. Nothing in there but our worst nightmares. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Here we are. Call me when you're done, I'll come pick you up. Okay. Whatever Nathan says, be careful. Jody. 
I'm so glad to see you safe. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. You're now Elizabeth North. No identity and no life. Five hundred thousand dollars. For services rendered. That should help make a new start. Thanks. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago, I wanted to die, too. I cried a lot. Banging my head against the wall, trying to figure out why, why. Why them? Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. The government gave me everything I needed to study the infra-world. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years. But I finally succeeded in creating this. Hello, my darlings. Helen. Laura. I miss you so much. finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. Give me your hands. Nathan, <laughs> you're hurting us. You've got to let us go. Let us die. You, you're lying. Helen didn't say that. You did. You're keeping them here. They're being torn apart between two of us. That's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. Nathan, I know how 
how you feel. You know nothing about how I feel! You hear me? Nothing! Goodbye, Nathan. I hope you find peace. Hi, Jody. Good to see you again. Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. We can't let you go. We can't kill you either. We don't know what you'll do on the other side. So there's only one appropriate solution. We inject you with a neuro acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. A simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Joni. We will always grateful for your help. to die anymore. No one will ever be separated again. What are you... What are you talking about? The containment field. I'm going to deactivate it. The infraworld will spread through our dimension. Life and death united in one world. It's not just souls on the other side. I've beaten death, Jody. Everything's gonna be just fine. You need to trust me. Everything is gonna turn out fine. Gaiden. Find something else. Get help. 
Hurry. Who's the rest of your team? Vince and Nick? <laughs> they have three months leave. They're on a beach on some exotic island, no doubt. Lucky bastards. Yeah, I've got a couple of emails I need to see. Keep entities in this lab? Good God, no. They're all trapped behind the containment field. Aiden? Is that you, Aiden? If this is a joke, it's not funny. Why would Aiden be here without Jody? Give us a sign if it's you, Aiden. What is it, Aiden? Where's Jody? Lead us to Jody Aiden. Show us the way. Right. Now where? This way. Want us to take the elevator? Is that it? Freeman, I have level three authorization. He's with me. Mm, I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. You do not have the correct authorization for this level. Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. You do not have the right credentials. You gotta get us past him, Aiden. Desk 42, hello. Hello? Hello? I 
think you made a mistake. Could you check again, please? Cole Freeman and Ryan Clayton? I'm sorry, you are on the list. My apologies. Um, go on through. Thank you. Hurry, Aiden. Take us to Jody. Jody's here? Jody! Get there! Get there! Nathan! He's gonna deactivate the containment field. What? Why? Why would he do that? He's gone insane. I think he's gonna get his family back. We gotta stop him. Oh, Christ, he's done it. He's done it! You need help? No. No, I'm okay. This way! Hurry up! Don't stay here! We gotta... We gotta... Come back! like you. Get out of my way. Clayton! Get me out of here immediately, Clayton! Agent Clayton, that's an order! <sighs> Consider that my resignation. You're all gonna die here. We're all gonna die! Clean up their own fucking mess. 
Jody, no. Paul's right. It's our only chance. I always figured I'd die a hero. Exit the building immediately. I repeat, exit the building immediately. Black Sun is at the center of the dome. No one's ever been before, so there's no telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self-destruct? The system was designed to be activated remotely. The explosion will be practically instantaneous. We're not coming back. seen us yet. It's our only chance. Jesus. I hope you're right. Or our little trip into the info world might come to a sticky end. Joe, don't get too close to them. Let's go!
you hear that? Don't listen to it! Keep going! Who are they? Souls! Lost souls! They're all around us! I know! Because they don't recognize you anymore! Your anger has changed you! I miss them! I miss them so much! Let me pass, Nathan! The condenser must be destroyed! You know it's the only way!
get out of here before I change my mind. <laughs> Inject you with a neural acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. Our souls were bound together. I loved you and hated you for years. You were a part of me. side, another world, becoming the wind, the stars, the universe, 
being with Aiden and those I've loved forever. Living, feeling, being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do. Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. 
I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks. Trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments, now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Ida. For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. I've never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. took months, months of nothing passing by. Then I woke up. I knew it was time, time to start again, to build a new life. So obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. I just needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. I told Ryan I couldn't see my future with him. We've been through too many difficult times together, times I want to forget. He said he understood that he'd wait as long as it takes. I know I felt something for him. It just wasn't strong enough. They took me in when I was alone. When all I could think of was dying. They shared the little they had without knowing me or judging me. 
deep down I knew that my place was there. With some. Stan does odd jobs here and there. Jimmy's gone back to school. He's clean now. Tuesday works behind a bar, and Walter looks after little Zoe. They're not rolling in money, but they manage. I never told them about my past, and they never asked. They love me for who I am. Just some weird chick who talks to spirits. <laughs> Zoe took to me like we'd always known each other. There's something about her big, sad eyes that reminds me of the little girl I once was. I knew she was different from the moment I saw her. We haven't talked about it, but... We both know we have something in common. I see things at night. Terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but... I know it's not true. The only one who can save the world is a little girl. I have to prepare her. I know I don't have much time. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No. It's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. Woo! We did it, Pete! We did it! We got there. Next time, I'll kill you all. Ellen Page. Oh so it is Ellen I was Page. So I lost. There's no telling what we'll find. How much time do we have to activate the self destroy not coming back? How's about that then, Pete? She's what do you reckon? Me. Worth watching, good game. Ten year old game, remember? Definitely worth watching, and I'll tell you something now, I would advise you if you've got a, a good enough PC to play it on or a PlayStation. Good game, really good game, well worth its money. And there's different endings as you saw then, we got the choice of what? Ryan, the Native American, I can't remember his name, Joey I think it was. Um, that one with baby or alone. So there's four different endings. Um, we're good that. Really, really good. I mean, I, I knew it was a good game because I remembered loving it when I played it before, do you know what I mean? But I couldn't remember uh, how good it was. Oh. To be fair as well, before I played it again for you guys, I was a bit resistant over playing it again because I thought, I didn't know how well it had aged, basically. Because um, there has been times where I've gone back and played games years after the, I originally played them. And because things have come so far with games and graphics and physics and all that, when I replayed it, it spoiled the memories I had of the game because I didn't enjoy it as much this time when I played it, do you know what I mean? So I was scared that if I played this again, would it spoil my memories of how much I liked it originally? But no, it hasn't. Um, if I, because I'm a lot older now, well, 10 years older, I think I'm probably going to appreciate it a lot more, a certain aspects of it. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm glad I played it again. And I'm glad I put it on channel for you guys to watch. Um, because I reckon a lot of younger generation won't play this because it's so old, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, hopefully I've got to share a really, really good story with some people that otherwise wouldn't have seen it. Or people that don't play games as well, if, they, if any of you guys don't actually play games, but you've watched these as like a film. I hope you've enjoyed it, because um, it is absolutely fantastic. It is. I mean, like I've told you though, all these collaborations with uh, Quantic Dream and um, Sony Entertainment, they're always good. I mean, look at Detroit Become Human. If you haven't watched that yet, 
I would advise you to do so, I really would. Um, it's the first game I put on. Uh, obviously, things have come away since then. Um, with the first game I put on, uh, I, I, I just started, I just started learning. What the heck? I just started learning how to... Um, What is going on here? I ain't got a clue what's going on here. I really am. Oh, we've lost sound for some reason. <clears throat> Again, the computer just doing what it friggin' wants. Do you know, I sat here happy enough just listening to it and watching the credits and stuff, and then boom. Flips itself off onto uh, OBS and loses sound. <sighs> So yeah, I was as I was saying, or what what I saying to be fair. Um, oh yeah, so yeah, any of you guys that haven't watched it, watch Detroit Become Human. Like I say, it was the first game I put on. Um, uh, so don't expect miracles. You know what I mean? I was just learning out YouTube. Then I mean, I'm still learning, but I've learned a lot since then. I mean, it's been about six months now. I think that I've been doing channel, um, and I've learned so much in six months. It's unreal. I mean, I'm not there yet, and I'm not especially confidence-wise with camera presence and stuff like that. I will never cut out to be a frigging uh, TV presenter or a, a channel presenter or all like that. I ain't got. I'm too shy for it. You know what I mean? I ain't got the confidence for it. Um, but. I'm learning and I'm getting better as I go along. I'm more of a techie guy, me. I'm more behind the scenes doing all the uh, editing and the tech tech side of it and building the PC and stuff for it. Um, but I don't reckon I do that bad, really, to say I, I suffer with anxiety and depression and stuff like that. And uh, I haven't really got the confidence for this sort of thing. But I've come a long way. I mean, you'll you notice if you you hear, the, like I say, the, the beginning when I started... Um, well, I hope I have anyway. So yeah, again, Detroit Become Human, a really another really good game by the same makers as this. Um, what we're gonna say then? Oh yeah, and I've got another game to play by these same. Uh, oh no, it's Quantic Dream, but I think it was Square Enix that they collaborated with on um, the next game. Not the next game, but the next game from these that I want to play. Um, and pardon me, and that war Heavy Rain. Basically, with the first of these types of game were heavy rain uh it was <coughs> the first game that really started the genre of story based games off um action adventure action adventures action adventures multiple choice games um so yeah uh, it's definitely one that's coming to the channel soon um maybe after the next one um because it is a fantastic game it really is <clears throat> it's a bit dated now because it's older than this one, do you know what I mean? But it still looks okay. So, only 15% of people chose the ending that I chose with Zoe. Um, so when you do it over, oh no, there's five endings. Five endings. So if you do it over five... It, it's not far off it being like pretty close to the percentage of people that chose different stuff so yeah let's see what else we've got oh we've got sound back Yay! right there was something i wanted to show you in um the extras <coughs> it's uh it's it's a trailer for a proposed game that they were going to make Again, I haven't checked, but I don't think they ever actually made it. It was just a proposed game that they were wanting to make. I don't know what happened, why they didn't or whatever, but I don't remember it ever coming out. And I would have known about it if Quantic Dream would have brought this game out because I like their games and I've played most of them, do you know what I mean? So, but anyway, let's have a look. I'll show you it. 
bonus. That's it, the Dark Sorcerer. So, bit of bonus footage for you people. See what you think of this one. From what I remember, I think it's pretty funny, to be fair. Look, this following footage prototype running in real time on the PS4. <laughs> Last one right. Fashta Malavi. It, I, it was on the tip of my tongue. I knew it. Damn. I am so sorry. <laughs> no problem. We'll just take it again. Wow. Dude. Totally freaked me out. I scared the crap out of me, man. <laughs> oh, excuse me, if I may, uh, I just have a quick word about the script. About the script? Uh, yes, as my character is rather complex, I want to make sure I'm conveying all facets of his psychology. So, I ask myself whether this hatred that is consuming him isn't emanating from... You know what? Don't change a thing. You were great. Okay, everybody, let's take it from where we left <laughs> off, if you're all ready. Hey, hey, name's Maurice. How uh, you doing? Uh, David, right, David right. Gant. First time in a video game? Uh, yes. David yeah, Gant is a real actor. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Oh, by the way, can we please turn down the pyrotechnic effects? They really came a bit close to us, right? Mm -hmm. uh, let's not risk a pointless accident. Okay, I'll tell the guys. <laughs> All right, silence pointless on the set. <laughs> and we <coughs> are rolling. By the seven seals of the war and the talismans of Rastatan, I invoke you, Astaroth, that lord of the last circle, by the... Oh, the ancient gods, by all the spirit servants of Hesmodan, by all... Cut, 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 sorry, there might have been a problem with the sound there. I thought there was something a bit odd. Okay, we'll lose the sound effect for the moment, if that's all right. Yes, that's probably a good idea. Something wrong with the props, too. This reminds me of what happened to the two guys who played the role before you. Yeah. Spellbook, smack the first one right in the face. Bam! Three fractured vertebrae. Yeah. The second one, yeah, he uh, took the scepter right up his... <laughs> you know... Uh, they need to find the bug, is what I'm saying. It's getting hot in here. Aren't you uncomfortable? The voice under is a that bit off. The lip syncing. Mask. What mask? But that's probably because. Okay, it's, let's go again. It's not a real game yet. This is just a proposal. So they will have fine tuned it around. Action! It was like seven a seven seals after four. And the talismans of Rastatan. I'll thank you, Aston. Ah! What's going on? Cut! Emily, get me the programmers. Oh, oh. Hey, 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 Dave, don't worry about it. It's just a bug they tried to fix last week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Generates 2,984 clones of who? Moi. <laughs> Look at him. I'm so sexy. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> just ignore him. Don't worry about it. Give me the phone. Oh. Hey, look, I don't give a crap how you do it. Just get those freaking trolls off my set. Now. Hey, hey, hey. Goblins, okay? Not trolls. Goblins. Jesus, guys, ain't <sighs> Last time one of them bought a few cases of beer, you know, got a little messy, but <laughs> what a party. You know what I'm saying? What a party. Mm. Mm. All right, looks good. <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> Woo. Personally, I thought it was a chance to class up the production a little bit, but you know, who am I? What are you going to do? 
Some people got no artistic vision. <laughs> Excuse me. Could I borrow your telephone for a moment? Oh, yeah, sure. Dave, don't munch up all my minutes, man, okay? <laughs> Fun. Yeah, I remember them. That was first ever mobile, that was it. William! People yes, actually used to walk around with them as well. Yes, I'm on the set right now. Tell me, these video game people, don't they seem a bit bizarre? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, something funny is happening here. Funny strange, not funny ha-ha. Well, it's rather difficult to explain. Listen, I'm not entirely sure that it's a good idea. <laughs> I know I signed a contract, but maybe we could... No, no, of course not. Yes, yes, maybe I am overreacting. Yes, fine. Okay. I'll call you later. Problems? Yes! No! Everything's fine. Okay, we're ready. Let's go again from the same place, please. And... Action! Oh, great Astros! Enter our dimension and deliver unto me my vengeance. Come, you must puzzle! No! <laughs> 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 oh, that just happened. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, hey, 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 the same thing happened to Michael Jackson, man. You know, in that soft drink ad? <laughs> Congratulations. You just became a legend. I told you to be careful with your silly pyrotechnical activities. I'm so sorry. This is the first time it's ever happened. <laughs> right. <laughs> so what do we do now? Uh... I would like to go back and try again from the same spot, if that's okay with you. <coughs> Let's do it! Okay, silence on the set. We are rolling! Oh, great Astros! Enter our dimension and deliver unto me my vengeance. Master of all hells, the portal is open! Ah. <laughs> Jesus! That was my entrance cue, wasn't it? Bloody hell! I don't <laughs> believe, believe it! it. You, you mean, yeah, that was your cue, <laughs> so like but you entered through the I portal don't of hell. Believe it! The portal of hell! Of course, I am such a didn't <laughs> Bad I'll just take my uh, bad day. Yeah, my entrance. Sorry. That'd be good. Thank you. Let's do it again. I'm so sorry, Jolly. Really. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, we're gonna start the whole incantation over now that everybody's in place. Well, the whole incantation. But I thought you had that covered. Uh, David, it's cool. Uh, don't worry. Everything's oh. working perfectly now. All right. This <laughs> next take is the keeper, people. And action. I listen to seals at the horn, the talismans of Rastatan. I invoke you, Astaroth, Dark Lord, of the last circle, by the sacred power of the ancient gods, by all the spirit servants of Rastatan, by all the sacred parchments of Hashimalavi, appear! Oh, friends of Hades, the portal is open! <laughs> Don't touch me! Don't you touch me! Maniacs! <laughs> all freaks and maniacs! I'm getting out of here before you drive me as crazy as you are! I'm leaving! Continue your insanity without me! David, wait a sec. We're sorry, okay? Please don't go. How are we gonna finish? I don't give a shit what you do. <laughs> I'm getting the hell out of here. Be wow. Get her. Really? Great. Get her. I can't believe it. <clears throat> well, guys, we've got to figure something out. What do you want us to do? Huh? I mean, look, without the sorcerer, this whole story doesn't make any sense, you know? It didn't make much sense with it, frankly. 
<laughs> what? What? Yeah. No. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Uh uh. Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Hell no. Don't even think about it. Okay. Stop. He's perfect. <laughs> Fred, call the costumer. I invoke you, Astaroth, that lord of the last circle. Akira! Oh, prince of Hades, the portal is open! You have summoned me, mortal. I am your slave. Satan! Yes? You didn't think I was going to let you get away with this now, did you? I thought there was something a bit odd. Nothing but a usurper, you dark sorcerer. Time has come for me to send you back to the shadows from which you came. Bloody hell! I don't believe it! No! <laughs> <laughs> Astra, from now on, you are my slave. Let humanity fall to its knees. The hour of the goblin of darkness is finally at hand. <laughs> God. Gotta quit smoking. Well, there we go. <coughs> Bonus material. What do you think of that then? <laughs> I just thought I'd show you that, I mean, it's, uh, there's no else like that, all the rest of both of us born on Teddy were just like, uh, pictures, you know, uh, artwork and stuff like that, and that, and that going through all that. So yeah, there you go then, Beyond Two Souls, done and dusted. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. As always, if you want to support us here at Immersion Gaming and allow me to carry on doing this, but on a much bigger and better scale, um, and as I've told you, I'm not going to go back into it all, but as I've told you, I've got a lot of ideas going ahead to make this channel much more than just watching playthroughs of games. Um, I've told you I want to go out and do some interviews with the game developers and stuff like that. Um, even some ideas for some game shows that could be quite good to do on a weekend and things, you know. I miss the days of um, game shows on a weekend. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've got all sorts of ideas. Uh, I just need support from like-minded people to make it a reality. So, if you would like to support us at Emerging Gaming, like I say, it's completely free. It takes a couple of seconds of your time. And join me on this journey and allow me to grow this channel and make it something special. Then it's easy to do, as I've always told you. First and foremost, if you just like the videos with the thumbs up button underneath um, and also put any comments on the, in the comment section as well any ideas any feedback any just general discussion about the games if you just want to have a chat um, i'll have a read through and get back to you as soon as i can um, as always that helps the youtube alg algorithm push my uh, videos out to more people which again should help the community grow but the biggest thing you can do if you want to support us and become part of the community is to click the subscribe button, which is completely free. All it does is put our channel into your favourites on YouTube, um, and that's it, don't do what else. Um, if you want to click the bell icon next to subscribe, that just turns on notifications so that when I upload a new video, you'll get a little red number on the bell icon at top of YouTube, letting you know I've uploaded a new video. That's it. But you don't have to have the uh, notifications on if you don't want. That's separate from the... Um, the subscribing so yeah other than that people thank you very much for joining me uh, i'm gonna crack on with the um editing the exporting as i've told you it takes absolutely ages to do um i've noticed as well it's costing me a lot in electricity but 
it is what it is, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's, I enjoy doing it. It keeps me busy. keeps me mind focused. So, yeah. I'll get that cracked on with and get them done and edited and put onto YouTube for you as soon as possible. So, thanks for joining me, Pete. I hope you've really enjoyed this game. And I'll crack on with getting the trailer on for the next game. Because the next one is a perler. Believe me. An absolute perler of a game. So, thank you. Take care of your sins. And I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.